Cybertruck is the, is the car I will be driving on a day-to-day -day basis. Even Elon Musk admits that when the Cybertruck comes out, he'll drive it every day. Recently on the X platform, he also posted a photo sitting on this pickup truck in an excited state, especially when Cybertruck's so close to launching. The truth is that Cybertruck's been greatly improved compared to its predecessor, and that's the reason why not only Elon Musk, but also 2 million depositing customers are looking forward to sitting in it every day. So what's changed in the process of updating Cybertruck compared to its predecessor? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, and before we begin, we humbly ask that you show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing that bell so you don't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Looking back on 2019, when Cybertruck was first announced, it received a lot of mixed opinions, the most prominent of which is still the design. Cybertruck's unlike any other pickup truck on the market when it's described as angular and bunker. In addition to keeping some of the typical features of the pickup truck, Tesla and Elon have continuously absorbed the constructive comments of customers since the Cybertruck was updated with a number of new aspects. How has the body material been improved with the latest version? Well, when talking about the body material of the old version, Cybertruck's made up of 300 series stainless steel. However, the new version of Cybertruck will be made of an upgraded steel variant of the old version. It's upgraded with ultra-hard 30X cold-rolled stainless steel technology. This is the most accurate version, and this material is exclusive to Tesla to make the body of the Cybertruck stronger than ever. It's also believed to be the ingredient used to make the SpaceX Starship shell. Tesla will cold work the steel alloy, which is much better than the traditional foaming methods of heating the steel and applying quenching. The steel cold rolling process will ultimately save Tesla production time and costs. The company wanted to emphasize the hardness of steel, making it one of the most durable materials that can be used in an automotive exterior application. It ensures that the material used outside has unique properties that only Tesla has thanks to its close connection with SpaceX. 30X stainless steel is made to prevent the use of complex curvilinear stamping lines. Elon says the stainless steel body panels on the Cybertruck are 3 mm thick, or 0.12 inches. The finish is plain unpainted steel, and it's challenging to make bumps on a Cybertruck because stainless steel is resistant to abrasion, scratches, or oxidation. So the Cybertruck is a hard car to make. It's because it's a, such a radically new design, it actually, you, you can't just use conventional methods of manufacturing. Uh, we had to invent a whole new uh, set of manufacturing techniques. Importantly, the body manufacturing process with the new material innovation will also use integrative technologies instead of using traditional die casting machines. For example, with flat and straight panels, Tesla doesn't need a die to shape the body panels. They can use a water jet or a laser to cut the panels to size. This will help to save production costs and production time. How does the price of Cybertruck change compared to its predecessor? During the Cybertruck announcement day, Elon Musk directly disclosed the price for each version of this pickup on the projection screen. Among the changes compared to the previous version, the price is said to have the most obvious change in Cybertruck. We all know Cybertruck has three versions with three different prices. As for the single motor and rear wheel drive version, it was priced at $39,900 at the time of its announcement. However, Cybertruck recently dropped out of that price range and was already priced at fifty dollars the dual motor with all-wheel drive has been changed in price. Specifically, the initial price was $49,900, but the latest update has increased it to $60,000, which is the revealed price for this version. Finally, the most advanced version is also the version that customers are most interested in. Unlike the previous two versions, which increased by about $11,000, the tri-motor and all-wheel drive versions increased insignificantly by only $100 to reach $70,000, while the price of the predecessor was $69,900. In the same pickup truck segment, Cybertruck has a low and reasonable price for consumers to choose from. Compared to a GM pickup, the GMC Hummer EV pickup 2023 costs 1.57 times more than the Cybertruck for about $110,000. But with the U.S. tax credit for domestically produced electric vehicles, all Cybertruck customers will receive $7,500. Thanks to this policy, the price of the pickup truck is significantly reduced, and the price is no longer a big concern for customers. The reason that the price of the Cybertruck has increased is probably because Tesla's improved in many ways compared to its extremely monotonous and crude predecessor. Even the bodywork has been upgraded to more advanced materials. 
Why does the exterior redesign make the Cybertruck more special? Besides the unique and angular design of Cybertruck, the car's exterior equipment has also been changed compared to its predecessor. In the past, customers and Cybertruck fans were surprised and concerned because the predecessor wasn't equipped with a rearview mirror. Referring to this reason, Elon thinks that the rearview mirror will reduce the speed of Cybertruck by 5% on the highway. However, Tesla seems to put customer safety first, so it's added triangular rearview mirrors in the latest version. In addition, the mirror installation is because Tesla wants to comply with government regulations that require automakers to provide cars with rearview mirrors. Another feature on the old version that's caused a big wave of controversy is when the wipers didn't appear. You can imagine on days with heavy rain or even snow, this makes Cybertruck's windshield more challenging to drive or affects the driver's vision. So the new version is going to be equipped with one wiper that works up and down. In particular, the new Cybertruck wipers will use the modern switchblade instead of the traditional wipers. It'll be longer and the sweeping force is going to be stronger. We all know the glass system of the predecessor Cybertruck failed the test when it was cracked by iron balls. At that time, the old version used Tesla's armor glass. After the unsuccessful test, Tesla took special interest in it, and it seems that Elon's been working on Armor Max's standard bulletproof glass for the new Cybertruck. The vault in the 2019 prototype shows that the Tanu is designed to be quite slim. These design choices have received some skepticism from car aficionados, as the slim Tanu seems prone to failure when the car is traveling on squirrel and dirt-prone terrain. In the new version, the Cybertruck's tonneau covers thicker, and the rubber lining on the bed suggests that the seller will withstand a moderate amount of rain. More importantly, the motorized tonneau lid controls have been optimized for increased durability. Finally, the most important part of the Cybertruck is to give it a 500-mile drive as the charging port. It used to appear on the near end of the body of the predecessor Cybertruck, which made the body of this pickup truck less smooth. Recently, the position of the official charging port was changed when it was found on the Cybertruck's rear fender, which is close to the wheel position. Cybertrucks become a lot less bare and rough than the old version, thanks to new installations that Tesla's added. It not only contributes to the aesthetics, but also provides high safety for the driver's visibility during operation. Disparaging discussions about the design will be significantly reduced when the Cybertruck's exterior is changed compared to the old version. However, the interior is really more important as it provides an authentic experience for both the driver and passenger. How the interior of Cybertruck modified Not only the exterior, but also the interior space of Cybertruck has been renewed to suit a wider range of customers. We'll talk about the change in the shape of the steering wheel first. If in the predecessor version the steering wheel only had a U-shaped form, in the new version you'll have the option of a steering wheel shape such as a rectangular or a traditional circle. Previously, many customers expressed that the U-shaped steering wheel brought a trendy style but was difficult to drive. This is the reason why the steering wheel has been varied. The dashboard and its predecessor looked like a marble kitchen countertop. In fact, it was recycled paper that was stitched together to look like it was made of marble. However, the upcoming version will change it to look more angular and sharp. Now, it's replaced with a more traditional triangle and black material. Another new element in the cabin is the addition of a speedometer cluster located in the front of the driver, which has never been installed before. This addition enhances the driver's convenience in easily observing the speed. We all know the front row of the old version has three seats. The middle seats act as a backup seat in case the Cybertruck wants to carry more passengers. However, Tesla won't equip the middle seat for the new Cybertruck version, which means that the front row only has two seats. Instead, this will be a fixed center console, also playing a role as a palm rest. The removal of the seat is said to reduce dimensions, make the car smaller, and make it suitable for regular parking spots and tunnels. Besides, the space also becomes more spacious and makes room for other, more necessary features. Cybertruck's a pickup truck, so it's geared towards more payload and transport capacity, so the need for many seats really isn't that necessary. The Tesla Cybertruck interior uses expensive tools to create complex shapes and tight angles with a combination of vinyl and suede materials to save weight and bring elegance to the interior space. All these elements have improved over its previous predecessor. How is Cybertruck software revealed? In the previous version, Tesla's never revealed any information about Cybertruck's features or software. However, it's been confirmed that using Autopilot costs around seven grand. Autopilot system uses cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors to detect other vehicles and objects on the road. Cool, right? A more advanced version of the Autopilot is full self-driving. This function hasn't yet been revealed before, but customers can rest assured that they can install it when it hits the streets. The one-time installation cost is about $12,000, or you can also purchase full self-driving for $99 to $199 a month. These two features will help Cybertruck improve safety when adjusting the speed to match other vehicles in the lane. Thanks to sensors and cams, 
It's capable of automatically changing lanes, steering around bends, and stopping safely in the event of an emergency. The system also alerts you if something unexpected happens, so you can take control of your vehicle if needed. Those are the latest updates about Cybertruck when compared to its predecessor that we want to talk about. Exterior, interior, and even prices are different from their predecessors back in 2019. During its four years of development, perhaps Tesla's really considered what to install for this pickup so it can meet both customer and national criteria. The wait for Cybertruck has never been in vain when all customers receive is a unique pickup truck in the world, not to be confused with any other vehicle. 2023 will be the official milestone for Cybertruck, marking a turning point to prove all its superior capabilities. In short, it's not a coincidence that Cybertruck has nearly 2 million orders. How do you feel about the change of Cybertruck compared to its predecessor? And what do you expect from the additional design of this pickup truck? We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please smash that like button and join our Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.